I now invite uh, Srimati Karishma Himat Singhaneji to speak a few words about Madhuji and give her a flower bouquet. Namaste. Just like Dr. Prakash Shahji, even I can't speak without reading it. <laughs> so I have written a few things. And first of all, I want to, um, once again, on behalf of Sanatan Dham Foundation, welcome you all to 7th Hindu Unity Day. And thank you, all of you, for being here and sharing happiness of the splendid victory of Sri Narendra Modi Ji in recently held elections in India. This uh, particular election of India, parliamentary election of India recently held, was unprecedented. Very beautiful word in Hindi is Abhutpurva election. Not only because of the result, but also because of the extraordinary campaign that uh, Modi ji and his supporters ran against another extraordinary campaign of uh, distortion, uh, denigration and disinformation that has been uh, carried on for over 12 years, as you all know. By God's grace, uh, Modi ji's uh, found some great support. Uh, I would call uh, them who are champions of the victory, who just for the want of truth and justice worked hard to research and collected facts based on that research and presented it in front of people, courts, and otherwise biased and hostile media. Thus, played a, a huge role in changing people's perception about Modi ji, and then finally came this amazing and much desired victory. Today, it is our honor and privilege to have one such champion, or I can say the leader of such champions with us, who has come all the way from India to share the journey during her quest uh, of this whole journey with us. Ms. Madhukeshwar is an Indian academician and a writer, a senior fellow at the Center for the Study of Developing Societies based in Delhi, and the director of uh, Indian Studies project based at uh, CSDS, which uh, aims to promote the study of religions and cultures in the Indian civilization. Ms. Kishwar studied at Miranda House in Delhi, where she was the president of Students' Union and then studied history at Jawaharlal Nehru University in Delhi. Madhuji founded Manushi in 1978 with the aim of finding effective solutions for the economic, politi political and social problems confronting India. Today, through patient study, a non-partisan approach, live live interaction with people concerned and culturally sensitive, informed activism. For more than 30 years now, Manushi has been at the forefront of many struggles from the rights of marginalized and vulnerable groups with special focus on women, minorities, and self-employed poor. One of such campaign was Quest for Truth Behind Godra Riot in 2002 and setting the record straight of media, which was running a campaign by twisting truth and distorting and suppressing facts. Then Madhuji came up with Modi Nama in 2013, in which she was critical of the media for what she called their false propaganda about Narendra Modi's role during the Gujarat violence 2002. And its aftermath. April 2014, Madhuji launched her latest book, taking forward her research on the same subject, a book called Modi, Muslims and Media. Sanadan Dhan Foundation today is honored to have Madhukishwar here and launching her latest book here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Moreover, honoring her for a quest for truth on her personal capacity, not uh, being part of any association or party or group stood her ground as a brave soldier against hostile media and different groups only for the truth to prevail which will have a huge impact on our future of India. I will now invite Ms. Madhukishwar on stage and share her journey to quest with all of us.
Thank you, Karishma, for that very warm welcome and introduction. I'm truly honored that I'm here today to celebrate. I'm fine here. Yeah. Am I visible? <laughs> well, I guess my voice matters more. So. Is that okay? Or is it bad for your cameras? You want me to stand like this? Yeah. Okay. You can see how. Yeah. Do you want a wireless? Do you want a wireless? No, I'm fine. I'm up to you. It's up to you. I'm fine okay. standing here. Okay. Namaskar, all of you, and thank you for giving me such a warm welcome. It is indeed for me also a big honor that across thousands of miles here, you've invited me to celebrate this great occasion. Uh, it's the beginning of a new epoch, if you ask me. It doesn't just transfer of power from the Congress party to the BJP, but I think just as many of you have already expressed such opinions, that it is indeed the beginning of a new epoch of Indian history, and I sincerely hope we are not disappointed. I sincerely hope that this time round, our expectations are not belied. But you know, I must tell you, I have this great misfortune that whenever I praise somebody from the deepest being of my heart, that person in no time proves himself or herself to be so contrary and starts speaking around as though to say, how dare you overestimate me? Um, there's hardly anybody who's been able to stomach the, the good words I have said. And I don't learn, I don't learn to be stingy with my praise because I feel for me to feel good about this life, and society. I must constantly seek out good people, good doers, and celebrate them. Or else my own life will be very impoverished, especially since I'm also a very tough critic of myself as well as of others. And in order to earn the right to criticize when I detect or see wrongdoing, I feel it's my dharmic duty to celebrate good acts. Um, but thus far, I've always been belied, and I get proven wrong. But I'm sure Narendra Bhai will not let that happen. I'm sure he will live up to the best and more of our expectations. Because if anybody can, he can. And that's why I'm taking this big risk, or have already taken this big risk again. Now, before I describe to you my own quest, my own journey, I'd like to give you a brief background of who I am. Some of you already know. You know, convent school education, Miranda House, JNU. I did all the things that the leftists and the liberals do. At age 16, I was introduced to Marxism and had my brief fling with Marxism, left politics, and uh, all the rest of it. But luckily for me, uh, as student of history at JNU, Mahatma Gandhi came early into my life. And since then, I found that I do not need any ideological props to support me in my quest for making India a truly respect-worthy place to live in. I don't deny and don't hide